Hi, uh, it's Ruth here from Gothic Decay and I make pieces of work that look like this. If you want to see more like them, of course, if you can go along to, uh, to my website, gothicdecay.com and you'll see the finished products. But um, at the moment, I was going to show you what I do to back a piece of embroidery. So I finished this one now, but it's not exactly looking terribly saleable on the back. It's not uh, what you'd want your clients to see. So what I'm going to do is show you how to put the backing on so it's all pretty and more respectable. So what I've got here is an old shirt. As I said to you before on Gothic Decay, uh, all my stuff is upcycled. So this is an old shirt and needs is the perfect colour for backing this embroidery. So all we do, it's going to be a bit more complicated because I'm trying to do this while you're watching but we'll make it work. There we go. So we've put the fabric so it's all covered up like that. Nice big pair of scissors and we're just going to chop, see I'm doing this upside down, all the way round. Oops. Don't chop off any of these little bits here. have to be too exact on the first way round. See how much fabric you get out of a nice shirt? Oops. I always love that sound. Reminds me of growing up. Oh, hello, that's Jacko, my foster cat. Um, that's not helpful. Come on, off you go. Come on, off the table. Hmm. It's not going to work, is it? Okay, well you can just sit there for a minute. So what I'll do then is turn this over and quit. Fold over a seam. I don't know if you can see that. All you can just see is Jacko's bottom. There we go. This isn't going to work, is it? Right. Sorry about that. Where were we? So I've cut out the fabric so it's a little bit bigger than this. That cat Jacko, he's a foster cat, so he's um, he's not been very well, but uh, he's now finally got the strength back to be able to jump onto my desk, so uh, you'll probably end up seeing more of him soon. So fold over a little seam, and just until you can't see the... Um, it covers up most of the uh, indiscretions along the back, but doesn't, so you can't see it from the front and then just pin it into place. Now you may notice that my pin cushion is neither gothic nor decayed, but it's been with me for most of my life, so it's a feature of my workroom. <laughs> So it's probably probably at least 25 years old. So it's just going to be that way. <laughs> Sentimental value. Oh goody. More Jacko. At least he's not sitting on it this time. Welcome to my work day. Yes, I'm very glad that you're better, Mr. Jacko. He's got um, heart problems. And he seems to be responding well to medication, which is brilliant, but uh, obviously makes him slightly more troublesome as a house guest. <laughs> but you're worth it, aren't you? Of course you are. There we go. So yeah, we just fold over the edges so that the can't be seen and I've dropped that thread for the second time. Oops. Let's 
So you can see there it tucks in quite a lot, so we'll just make sure that the fabric can't be shown if it's seen from the front. Thanks, Daniel. Yep. There. So now I should go and pick up the needle and thread, which I dropped on the floor. And find myself a needle. Now we'll go into needles in a future video, but you'll notice that all of my needles, my favourite needles, are all bent. Never mind. So all we do now, we're going to have to move you, aren't we? We're going to get that needle stuck in you. Right. After removing the cat for a second time, we now have a needle and some thread. So, and I always mean to do this when I'm not on camera, because for some reason. Threading needles is not something I normally have a problem with, but as soon as I'm on camera, to put my specs on, that would help. As soon as I'm on camera, I can't do it. There we go. So we tie a nice knot in the end. I know a lot of people don't like knots in embroideries, but I've always done it, and it seems to work fine for me. And if you don't like it, just do it however you whatever works for you. Well, that's a terrible knot, isn't it? Funny how you can create something so bad when people are watching. I think we'll just start that again. Normally mess up this end of things. Thirty-five years of tying knots. <laughs> there we go. Right. So chop off the end so it's quite close to the knot, like that. And then all we need to do, I tend to try and hide the knot inside. So if you can see there, I'm going in between two of the folded pieces of where it's um, where the seam is folded over. And I'll just come up sort of through it all and up like that. Can you see that? So it's through the hole and up there. And now all we need to do is just catch this down. So little tiny stitches in both sides. Now some pieces of the fabric, like this one here we've started with typically, is actually the front of the fabric. So you'll see a second piece of fabric appearing there. So you can make as much as you like of a, a, a bigger stitch as you like into this. But um, you don't want to make too big a stitch into this, otherwise you'll just end up with big grey stitches through the front. So all we now do is hand stitch around the edge. Now it's a personal thing for hand stitching for me. I don't really like when there's a machine stitched line all the way around the front. So it takes a lot longer, but hey, you've seen the way I produce my background, so taking a long time isn't something I'm afraid of. And then go around like that. When you get to the end of a piece of thread, imagine this was a nice short piece. Just do a couple of little stitches on top of each other. Thread's not in there. These things always happen when people are watching me. There we go. And then just snip it off. Oh, sometimes actually what I can do is put the needle in and push it between the front. So it's not showing on this side. That's a pin, so don't ignore that. It's not showing on the front and it's not showing on the back, so it's going in between the sandwich of the front and the back and then pull it out like that and snip it off there. So it gives it a little extra bit of security right up to the fabric like that. So you can't see it, but it's just hiding in there. So then hand stitch all the way around until the back is attached to the front. So thank you very much for watching this. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to subscribe to the channel 
and don't forget to click the little bell to get your notifications and uh, visit gothicdecay.com if you'd like to see more pieces like this. So uh, thank you very much for watching despite the cat's help um, and see you again soon. Bye bye.